Hey everybody, this is Steve Hansen. How's it going um, from the Onsong community? Was looking at some of the stuff online from Dawson and others, and there was a question about using consoles. Should I spend the money to do it? I love console, and I'm going to tell you why. It's the fastest thing going. People talk about, oh, just use Ultimate Guitar and do this and that kind of stuff. No, spend the $10 or the $13 Canadian or whatever you're going to spend, but spend the money on console. It's fantastic. Um, and it's so fast. I rearrange probably five, six, eight tunes a week um, and, and put, to put stuff into either acoustic shows or any of the number of, of, of acts that I help support. And so um, I'm going to show you how, how fast and easy it is to take something out of Ultimate Guitar, put it into Onsong, um, and adjust it for that. It takes, you know, minutes at most. So here's what I'm going to do. I actually have Ultimate Guitar open, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another browser. This is in Chrome. I'm actually going to open up in um, Firefox. Now let me show you what I also have. So I have Onsong running on this old crappy iPad 3, but I have Onsong working on it, right? The important part about having Onsong, having the thing is you have to have your device on the same network as your, um, as your computer, right? So if you'll notice, I think you can probably see it. See how it's on the 5... Dot o version of my network right there. There you go. So I'm on there. So that so on songs running on that part of the network. So it's up and running. And when you do that, you just put in the little. Uh, um, when you enable it, you just put in the tag that you want, or excuse me, the uh, the URL that you're supposed to do, which is 192.168.1.65, I think, and it'll automatically find your device or find console. You can see on song console is working on my. Uh, just through my browser. Uh, again, I'm running it through through Firefox in this particular case. So then you have your. Let's see if I can turn this a little bit, a little bit. Maybe zoom in there. There we go. So you can see that I've got. Um, I'll move it a little, a little bit more. There you go. I've got my song list on the left hand side. Songs are in the middle. What it looks like on the right hand side. But let's do a new song. I'm going to go over to this other browser and I'm going to go to. Um, believe it or not. Um, let's see, believe it or not, I do not have Margaritaville in my song list. Um, and so I'm going to look that up here on, on Ultimate Guitar and I'm going to go grab, um, I know the question is why would you do that? Um, some of you have a question on why I would go look up Margaritaville because it's a highly requested song. Um, and I don't do it normally. Um, it's, uh, for whatever reason. Anyway, I'm going to go and grab... Here's a version of Margaritaville version 3, right? Now, if you look in here, uh, again, I don't know how the lighting is going to be on this, but uh, um, well, let me try that. If you're looking in the, the lighting, I'm just going to go and grab the, grab the song. If you'll notice, and actually, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit there. You see how the songs in, in, in um, uh, Ultimate Guitar have like these brackets around the verse and then their songs, right? The brackets are what's going to screw you up a little bit. So what I'm going to literally just going to go in and copy this thing, and I'm going to say I'm going to grab from the intro, and I'm going to scroll down and grab to the bottom of the uh, of the song there, under outro right there, and I'm going to say copy on my thing, and I grab it. So it's already doing that for me, and I've already copied it. I don't want to create a personal tab. I'm going to go back over to on song, and I'm going to add. A song up here on the left and I'm gonna say add a song and we're gonna call it pardon me Margarita Ville Jimmy Buffett all right got it and I'm gonna say create an on song could create in court broker whatever I want I'm just creating an on song I'll get rid of that palette for right now and then I'm just gonna go paste it in right so what you'll notice is I pasted the text here but you're seeing what it looks like over here on the side now anything in a bracket is going to show up as, and I've got my um, chords set to a different color into bold in my in my style palette. So that's anything in a bracket is going to show up that way. But here's what happens: if I go into the text here and I remove the brackets in this middle section, I don't know if you can see it, but I remove the brackets in this middle section from chorus and from instrumental and from verse. Let me do that real quick. I'll show you. Say chorus. Da -da -da. Chorus is now away. Instrumental is now away. Brackets behind verse have now been removed. Uh, another chorus, get rid of the brackets around that. And 
outro. Move the brackets around the outro there. And now I've removed all of the brackets around them, around those. And I'm going to say save up here at the top. And you'll see in the preview over on the right in just a second, as long as, oh, I missed a couple. Sorry. Intro. Get rid of that one. Verse there. That ought to do her in theory. So now what it's done is I've removed that that intro thing and I'm getting the line oh I'm getting the inline the way it would look inline over here on the side, right? Oop, there's one more. That's why I'm my cord and I, I changed the colors of the cords in my style palette so it will do this for me. Um, so it will notify me when I've got these stuff set right or or not set right. Um, let's see. Yeah, so now what's happened is I am, I, clearly I'm getting the chords have now gone bolded and they're all in the right place, right? That's a good thing. Let me go actually open my style palette. And sometimes it's a little funky when I do, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to highlight chords. Let's not do that. Um, but I do want to say chord color, change away from the blue that I have. Now I'm back to the blue. So now you can see that all my chords are done. They're all in the right place and everything. So that's what console allows me to do that super quick. What I can also do and what the, what I typically do is if you look into the center section um, in here, you see that these chords are all kind of all over the place and they're, they're above line. I don't like that. I actually go and I'll show you another song. Let me save that real quick. Um, but I'll go to another song that I've done such as, um, I don't know. Um, Let's see. Here, you look good. Lady Antebellum. Um, this is what I do with the chords. I put the chords in on song format. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, in chord pro format. Where I put these, where I put the chords in line. So I can actually put the chords exactly in the line where I want them to be. And that's something that console, obviously, you can work a whole lot faster on your keyboard and mouse than you can on your iPad when doing that. So, that's a quick look at how fast that was for me to go from Ultimate Guitar, take an entire chord chart, put it into Onsong, change it around so that I have all the formatting, and now that I've got those chords there, I can do anything I want, like changing my chords and changing my diagrams or putting a capo on or transposing from one key to the next or doing, doing any of that kind of stuff um, as, quickly as, as quickly as I can. So hopefully that's a help. And uh, I know Jason will love this, but go out and spend your 10 bucks. <laughs> hey, if you guys have any questions, you can find me on the OnSong forum if any time. I'm, I typically will jump in and, and answer questions. I got a couple videos coming up around lighting DMX stuff. So um, I've been uh, programming a bunch of DMX lighting with the new console in the new version. And uh, I think you're going to like that stuff too. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. See you. Bye.